Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, I've made it back to base and have done a little bit of dropping off stuff and a little bit of organization. Um, this atomic, this is an atomic lamp, and what we had before was just an atomic reading light. And they both give light and, and last forever, just the lamp gives a lot more light. So I moved it over here in the crafting area, and I moved this one over here in the cooking area, so now we can cook things. Uh, generally, we'll, I'll have a fire going over here, so it'll make light, but uh, this will allow us to cook in the dark uh, without a fire. <laughs> Some of the recipes that, that may involve that, or, or we could use like a hot plate or, or something like that. Um, we got a nice supply of books, and I've already skimmed through all of those, so uh, we've got a lot of reading we can do in order to grind up our skills. Um, the way this works, um, if you are not uh, familiar, or if I haven't gone into it before, uh, we have these books in blue that are books that we can currently read that will uh, uh, basically exchange time uh, for grinding up skill points. Um, for example, 101 Crafts for Beginners here will bring our fabrication up to level 3. It's currently at 1. Um, it has 30 recipes in it, and we'll also get a little bit of fun as we read it, and uh, you can read a chapter in 15 minutes. Um, uh, so yeah, we can we can basically use this book to grind fabrication up to level 3. Um, the recipes, uh, when we read the book, we don't necessarily learn the recipes. These are the, the number of crafting recipes that are, that are inside the book. Um, uh, we don't necessarily learn them as we read them, uh, we just get the skill, but uh, if we have these books close to us when we're crafting, we can reference that book in order to craft other things. Eventually, if we, if we do the craft enough, uh, we'll memorize that recipe, uh, but uh, at, at first we just have to have uh, the book next to us. You can see down here these books in yellow. Um, these are books that we have that uh, we can't gain any skills from it. Um, for example, Ham Radio Illustrated, uh, it'll take our electronics up to one, our electronics already is one, so we're not going to gain any skills for it, but it does have 25 recipes in it, uh, so we, we that's still useful to us. Uh, same thing with our, our So What book here. Uh, but books like Birdhouse Monthly, um, that'll take fabrication up to one, our fabrication is already run. It doesn't have any recipes, so it's pretty much worthless, um, except for the morale uh, boost of plus one that it'll give. Um, so yeah, those are basically, we take, can take those apart for paper or burn them in the fire, uh, whatever. Uh, we have our corporate accounting ledger down here. This is the uh, book that our friend up there was wanting. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to them here, here soon. And uh, down at the bottom, there's some in red, like advanced economics, advanced electronics. These are books that we have but we currently don't have enough skill in order to understand them. Uh, so we'll have, to, we'll have to use these blue books first to get to a higher skill and uh, then, then use the books down here. We've actually got a lot more red books. Uh, I just don't know how to uh, scroll this page. But uh, that's just the read menu, uh, so it's not that important. Um, also, we got a Swiss Army knife uh, was something that we picked up. Um, some of these tools, you know, uh, we were looking earlier, I was looking for a rock that had hammering. Um, a Swiss Army knife is one of those that has multiple things uh, involved in it. Um, it has butchering quality, it has cutting, metal sawing, wood sawing, screw driving. Um, so this will basically act like a screwdriver, a wood saw, uh, a metal saw. Uh, so I want to hold on to that because there are some buildings that we do need metal sawing to get into. Uh, what I don't know is if this Swiss Army knife is going to cut it. Uh, hmm, the bon Uh But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll keep it with us uh, just to have it on hand in case we need any of those um, uh, skills. And we also got um, the pair of roller blades as well as a firefighter helmet. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at, I want to look at our uh, hooded hard hat that we're currently wearing as well as the firefighter helmet. Uh, the firefighter helmet has a little less coverage, uh, a little more warmth, um, a ton more encumbrance, but it's head encumbrance, and a lot more protection. Um, the hooded hard hat has a little bit more uh, damage if we were to use it as a weapon, but uh, hopefully we don't get to that. Um, so I'm going to rearrange some of our clothing here. I'm going to go ahead and take off the... I'm going to take off the combat boots. I'm going to take off the hard hat, and I'm considering taking off the hiking backpack. 
Um, if we look at the travel pack and compare that with the hiking backpack, uh, thir 30 liters as opposed to 55 liters. Boy, that's a lot of liters. Um, the reason I'm considering taking out the hiking backpack is because it's so damaged and we are currently not in a state where we can repair it. Uh, and there might be a bigger crab uh, coming here soon that's going to attack the city. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll take it with us. Um, all right. I want to go ahead and put the firefighter helmet on. Um, and uh, let's see. Is there anything else before we get out of here? We just got the roller blades. Fantastic. All right, let's uh let's head up top. And uh, we're going to make another run on the city. Um there are some places I would like to hit. I I want to get some more tools. Uh, we don't have nearly the tools we need. And I would like to get some more food if possible. I'm I'm putting a priority on the tools. Uh I, the reason I want the food is so we can hole up here in our evac shelter and just do a ton of reading. Um, that's good in that you gain a lot of skills, but it's also not so good uh, because it makes time go by, and as time goes by, uh, the, the zombies will evolve and get stronger. Um, we have a sporting goods store here I would like to hit. Uh, we have a hunting supply store here I would like to hit. Uh, what else did I see? There's a library up here uh, that could possibly give us some more books. Um, a military surplus right here that I would like to hit. And way over here on this other side of town, I don't know if we're going to make it in this run, but there's a hardware store, and those generally have a lot of tools that we may need. Um, oh, and another hunting supply store there. Um, hunting supply stores are great. They, they You can get guns there. Um, you can get kind of survival gear. Uh, sporting goods stores, uh, miscellaneous kind of things, uh, some things that are useful. Uh, libraries, of course, books, hardware stores, uh, tools. Uh, but that's the plan, and uh, the plan in order to, to, to really help us this time, uh, what we didn't have going for us last time, is uh, we now have these uh, roller blades. And roller blades, as long as we are on a hard surface, uh, such as this road, um, if we look up here in the upper right-hand uh, corner, um, this is basically telling us how many movement points we used in the last turn. Uh, so if I go over here and take a step, it took me 101 movement points. Uh, and you have a certain number of, of, of points that you can do per turn. Uh, this is a turn-based game. Um, but that last move took us uh, took 101 uh, movement points. If we wear our roller blades, um, the last turn took 1,000. That's because we were actually putting them on. But if I move up here, I can see that's dropped down to 55. Uh, so what that means is we are now just super fast as long as we stay on the road. Um, if we get over here in the dirt or in the grass, uh, you can see that jumps up quite a bit to actually 140. Um, so we want to make sure that we stay on a hard surface, and if we do, we'll just be able to skate all the way around the zombies, and it'll be fantastic. Um, so it is raining outside. Um, that's a consideration. Uh, we're not quite considered wet yet. Um, so that's good. Uh, but I am going to, uh, let's zoom out a bit. And let's head on up here. We'll just skate our way into town and see if we can hit some of these stores and get some good loot. All right, as we make our way into the city, here is that Humvee we found earlier. Uh, what was wrong with it again? Uh, it's missing a battery. It has a leaky battery. Uh, it has a leaky gas tank, but uh, it has another one that, that is fine. And uh, it has a faulty engine. Um, have to remember that. Uh, things, things to keep in mind once we get a little bit more mechanic skill. Uh, military vehicles are military vehicles, so they've got a little bit of armor plating on them. But they're also a little bit wider than the civilian vehicles uh, by, by default. Uh, you can see this one is a has a 3x3 three three grid in here. Uh, we can pull these seats out and, and pull these items out and replace it with other things like kitchen units and and craft benches and storage containers, things like that. Uh, whereas over here on our electric SUV, there's it's only two across, so it's a little bit limited. 
Uh, but yeah, no, the Humvee is definitely a good vehicle. Um, it uses diesel, which is kind of uh, unfortunate. Well, not unfortunate. I mean, it's just it's just a thing. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep in mind. Uh, but but a very 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 good vehicle to uh, to run around the apocalypse in. Um, I have turned safe mode off. Uh, we it's just going to be we're just going to see zombies all the time. And uh, since we're on the rollerblades, uh, since we're on the street, we shouldn't have any problems as long as we are smart. And by we, I mean me. Uh, you are missing wheels. And I do like to check out the vehicles. Um, okay, so we've got a feral runner down here. And those guys are typically really fast. They don't have any problem at all uh, catching you. Uh, but on our rollerblades, we don't even have to run. Uh, we're just going to scoot on past him. And uh, where are we? We are right here. Um, the hunting supply store is right here. I think we'll hit that first. And uh, come and then hit the sporting goods store. And then there was a military surplus. That's right there. Unfortunately, that's on a different street. Uh, but this is a skate park. Uh, so it may be possible that we could actually transition from this road to this road up here. Uh, without hitting any grass. Uh, hopefully, we'll see. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll hit by we'll hit the hunting supply store and see if that's going to be something we can get into. Uh, the sporting goods store, and then head up here to the military surplus. I think that'll be the plan. Uh, the hunting supply store does have uh, bars on the windows, and uh, we have that Swiss Army knife. That uh, oh, that was a bad move. Ah, uh, there we go. We have the Swiss Army Knife that does have some metal cutting ability. However, um, I don't know that it's going to be enough to get through the bars on the windows. I guess we will find out. Uh, firefighter, another regular zombie. Boy, there's a lot of bad guys here. Uh, there's an electric SUV down there. Um, are we close? We're getting there. Uh, what, what's this right here? Post office. Okay, this is the intersection, so the hunting supply store should be right here. Okay, got a zombie, two zombie, three, four zombies, five, and probably some more. Yeah, the zombies like to, to hang out in front of the hunting supply stores. Uh, which kind of makes sense, because um, there's generally some good loot in them. What has happened? Um, okay, um... Mission, find antibiotics before you die is successfully completed. Huh. Okay. I didn't think I needed antibiotics, but um, whatever you say, Chief. Um, we have an ambulance here. Um, it looks drivable. Huh, yeah. Uh, I am running the experimental version. And, uh, this has some good stuff in it. And it appears to be drivable. Not drivable long-term, because it has a, a leaky gas tank. Uh, but we do have almost a liter of gas in here. It could probably work for a little short little jaunt. Which, um, oh, do we have another one? Um, it's got even more gas. <laughs> Uh, and it's got some aspirin inside of it. Sweet. Um, what I'm wondering... Um, so, the, the hunting supply store has metal bars on the windows. Uh, so we would have to deal with that. Uh, the doors are metal, so we can't, like, pry them open. Um, if we had a hacksaw, I know we could. Um, let's just see, if I get close to this window and I use my Swiss Army knife. Yeah, there should be like a cut metal option. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Uh, plus, if we break the window, I think it might be setting off an alarm. But you know what we can do? Let's see, let's see if this is going to work. Um, I cannot close the door. All right. Uh, well, we just we just won't have the door. Um, the ambulance's engine starts up. It is running. Uh, let's yeah. 
From the south, I hear an alarm go off. All right, our ambulance is moving. Uh, we'll run over a zombie. And uh, uh, what am I looking at there? Survivor zombie. Uh, those guys are tough. All right. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm wanting to do. We'll just use the ambulance as kind of a, a little makeshift weapon here. Uh, take it up on the sidewalk. And uh, let's see if we can turn it around without hitting anything. Okay, we hit the other one. Uh, speed up. Uh, get a good little angle here. Aha! Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was wanting to do. All right, let's uh, reverse it out. Uh, see if we can straighten it up. And uh, we'll continue forward. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to hit some of these zombies if I can. Uh, can we run over the, the canine? That would be... Oh, we ran into a building. <laughs> All right, and hitting some of these zombies is uh, going to be going to be good. Get them out of commission. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the ambulance right here. I'm going to... Let's see, do we have an option to turn on... Um, what do we got here? Uh, let's turn on the headlights. And, uh, let's let go of the controls. And that'll keep the engine running and the lights on. And hopefully that will cause a little bit of a distraction that will attract some of the zombies. And while they are worried about that... We can run in here to this hunting store, hopefully, without any uh, distractions. Okay, uh, we made a hole in the wall. Can we move that out of the way? We can. All right, and uh, we'll start We'll start looting. A hunting cap, pair of hiking boots. I will take that. A pair of fishing waders. Are those made out of plastic? Yeah. A lot of good protection. Uh, they're here if we need them. Uh, lung underwear bottom. Uh, Steel-toed boots. We'll take those. Um, some cargo pants. Are we wearing cargo pants? I don't remember. I thought we were. No, we're wearing cargo shorts. Um, I would like cargo pants. Those are a poor fit. Uh, let's let's take them anyway. We can always get rid of them. Um, hiking boots. I don't want the winter boots. I think hiking boots are like some of the more low encumbrance ones. Um, I'm going to take them anyway because we can use them to... Uh... Ooh, a hatchet. And a hand crank charger. We can use that to recharge batteries. Uh, there's a long rope. Entrenching tool, which is like a um, a shovel. A pair of binoculars. I, I think I have those. Maybe. Seems like binoculars uh, show up a lot. Um, and there's another hunting life knife. Another entrenching tool. I don't think we need to. Another hand crank. Uh, let's grab one of the heavy-duty flashlights. Pocket knives, refillable lighters. I've already got one of those. Uh, flares, maybe. Plastic canteen. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, and back here, there should be some bullets and a uh, crossbow, longbow. Uh, two longbows? Yes, have some. Uh, carbon fiber hunting arrows, both stabilizers. Shocker zombie spotted. I'm hopeful, hoping that's a long way away. Yes, it is. And over here, we've got some guns. Um, let's just take them all. Single barrel shotgun. Uh, 
Um, that's a shotgun. Oh, it's 270. It's another shotgun. Uh, 22. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll just take it. We'll just take all the stuff. Um, and let's see, we've got a couple of safes there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get into those. Uh, permanent marker, fruit juice. Nothing I'm too interested in. And here in the back, uh, nothing on the shelves. We do have some crates here, though. Another hunting knife. And some cargo pants. All right, well, not really a whole lot uh, in that. Uh, we did pick up some guns, though. Uh, but but worth getting into. Worth worth getting into. What was that up there? Oh, there's a lighter. All right. Um, let's see where we want to go to now. Uh, we want to hit the sporting goods store. Um, ambulance. Um, uh, we'll leave. We'll leave it. <laughs> we'll leave it over there. Uh, the ambulance uh, did its duty. Uh, did its duty quite well. Uh, what do we got here? A motorcycle with a sidecar? No wheels. Uh, let's see. Is this the sporting goods store? This is the sporting goods store. Um, it does have a back door. We're going to run through here real quick, um, even though it's not the best uh, movement with our roller blades on. Uh, wrist bandolier. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, heat pack, we'll take that. A uh, spear gun, uh, some arrows, a pair of boxing gloves. Um, a spear gun. Kind of cool, but I don't know how useful it, it's going to be. Okay, and uh, here in the sporting goods store, another wrist bandolier. Uh, how to trap anything? Outdoor adventures. Apparently, we don't have those book. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a um, grab that uh, those matchbook there. Socks, golf tee, a football, a fishing rod, a fencing jacket, um, elbow pads. Um, a golf club, golfing gloves, and uh, what is that? Hiking boots. We'll take those. Those actually fit. Uh, we are now overburdened, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, that means our stamina is going to start draining as we move around more. Um, is there anything? I think it's probably going to be all these guns and, and things. Boy, it would be really nice if we had... Um, if we had something that I wanted to get rid of, <laughs> uh, cause we're only in burden by like maybe a pound. I, I could get rid of the hiking boots, but then I'd want to pick up the thigh high boots because, uh, there's probably so much of this stuff that, that I just don't need. Um, a rail mounted shotgun. That just sounds awesome. Well, let's go through here. Uh, BB gun, uh, survival kit. A uh, whistle, a multi-tool, foldable plastic bottle, glow stick, flares, water purification tablet, pocket survival guide, and one survival kit box. Um, not as handy as it looks.
All right. Well, I'm tempted just to uh, to leave it at this and uh, and maybe maybe head back to base. Or if we could find a car, uh, we could stash some stuff in it. Uh, did we find a running car? I don't. I don't feel like we did. Uh, well, maybe maybe we'll see if we can find a running car and uh, outrun these feral runners. Um, airdrop crates. Uh, let's see if this is drivable. Has enough. Has a security system. Um, what general direction do I want to go? I think I want to go... I think I want to go this way. I, I was going to go hit the military surplus, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see if we can find a place to stash some of this stuff. Um, that car is not going to be drivable, that's for sure. Um, we are actually moving a little bit slower right now. Uh, because we're overburdened, we now have... I, I'm assuming it's because we're overburdened? No, it's actually quicker to go on the sidewalk. Interesting. All right, we can make this southerly turn and uh, and and make it home relatively quickly. Um, there's a pawn shop. Have we looked in that pawn shop? Um, if we have a full inventory, um, that's not going to be a very good uh, a thing to to go to because there could be some good stuff in there. Uh, doesn't have a seat. All right, um, but this is the end. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to take off our uh, rollerblades. Okay, and I'm going to wear the hiking boots. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just head home. Um, what time is it? It's, uh, we, boy, we were barely out there like 15 minutes, uh, maybe 30 that is, uh, that's good. Um, I think I would like to just go right back out. Uh, maybe head up here and we'll come up and we'll hit the pawn shop. And maybe we just hit this row of houses and this hardware store and, and this row of houses there. Uh, because I want to get like a, a food supply set up uh, so that we can uh, get some of these books read. Um, is that... That's a giant worm, isn't it? Uh, this is Mound of Dirt. Yeah, there's this sound over here. There's a giant worm uh, that that's hanging out here. Uh, okay, we need to be careful as we're going through the woods there. Uh, giant worms, um, it seems like I've had some in my starting shelters before, and they're, they're kind of tough. I don't think we can take them. Um, I, I imagine like that old movie Trimmers. Um, if you even know what I'm talking about, the giant worm that's under the ground, they'll, they'll come up and, and, and attack you. Uh, but we got some stuff. We got some uh, weapons. Uh, we got some guns. We got some bows. We got some arrows. Uh, stuff that we're not skilled enough to use yet, but um, it's good to have in our back pockets. We got some backup knives, and as far as tools go, we got our digging tool, and uh, really, that is it. Oh, we do have our hatchet. We can cut trees down and stuff. That's that's good, I guess. Um, and uh, really, that is it. Got a fishing pole. We can fish. Uh, a couple of books and uh, more just kind of like opportunity stuff than it was anything we were actually desperately needing. I think the next run... Uh, we definitely want to more focus on things that we actually need. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to go back out and uh, stock up on food. I think that'll be the primary thing.
and we'll hit the hardware store and see if we can pick up some of our missing tools. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.